What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? Welcome back. My name is Umbered Hammy Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Today, we're going to kick it off with Goku versus Cooler. This was a fantastic movie, and we're about to begin right now. So, here we go, guys. Returns to Earth after crushing Frieza. Yes. However, the shocking truth is confirmed. Finally. Frieza had an older brother who is heading to Earth. Does Goku have a chance of prevailing against an extremely formidable enemy that surpasses Frieza? Alright, now, I, I really have a hard time believing that Cooler is stronger than Frieza. For many different reasons, guys. If you go back and look, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Even Piccolo sacrificed himself for me. Yes, he did. What you gonna do about it, Goku? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? You gonna defeat him or what? A Saiyan born and bred for battle has no need of such feelings. Very true, but, uh... I, I still have a very difficult time believing that because if you guys go back and you watch the Frieza fight, Frieza gave Goku more of a beating than Cooler did. Um, just because Cooler transformed further and was able to just, you know, beat him up for a brief moment of time does not make him stronger than Frieza. Frieza, at 100% of his full power, was able to damage a Super Saiyan rather than uh, Cooler's final form, which he was able to not damage a Super Saiyan. If you go back and watch, um, when Goku turned into a Super Saiyan against Cooler at the very end, uh, you know, Cooler's final form wasn't able to touch Goku. It's not like it's gonna make a difference because you suck anyway, Mr. Cooler. Um, but yeah, I mean, Frieza, I do believe Frieza gave Goku more of a hard time. Once again, I don't believe he's more powerful than Frieza. Because if he was more powerful than Frieza, don't you guys think he would have given Super Saiyan 1 a little bit of a run for his money? I mean, just because he doesn't really necessarily, you know, surpass that of a Super Saiyan 1 completely does not make him stronger than Frieza. Uh, Frieza, to me, did more damage. Frieza, to me, was more of a unrelenting, undaunting character. Um, Frieza was more engaging because Frieza was willing to blow up the entire planet to prove his point. Um, Cooler was a badass as well. Do you guys remember when Cooler first joined, like debuted? You know, like the like the entire fucking story, the entire movie was awesome. Uh oh. You see what I mean? Oh, I am the strongest in the universe. Everybody wants to proclaim that they're the strongest in the universe. But does anybody not know of Beerus and Whis? Seriously now. I mean, was Beerus and Whis like the only two that debuted only for Frieza and nobody else? I mean, I not know about these guys. Well, then again, they are gods and um, their powers are masked. But uh, first of all, I don't know how this jabroni was able to survive two of my spirit bombs. That, that, that's number one. Number two is the fact that I have yet to turn into a Super Saiyan. And the moment I do, I am going to... Wo wow, a third spirit bomb. Wow! A third freaking spirit bomb. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Bam. I'm not gonna lie. When, when Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan, uh, it was pretty cool because he was holding that like dead bird or that wounded bird. And he was just like, he was thinking about life. And if, if you think about it, do you really blame Goku? No. Um, I, I probably would have done the same, but um, when, he, when he fully transformed and he went after, you know, Cooler, I was like, oh, shit. Because Cooler at first was like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Oh, he's changed, but uh, you ain't shit. And then he punched Goku right in the abs, and, and it didn't even phase him. And I was like, oh, shit. And then Goku, like, Goku, like, two-pieced him. Like, he just punched him twice, and Cooler was, like, stunned out of his mind. He was like, oh, fuck this. And then, like, he finally, like, blasted Goku, and then he used his supernova attack. Which I thought was really, really cool, but um, that ending was amazing, though, because, I mean, it felt like Goku did a Kamehameha pushing the Supernova off of him, um, but be that as it may, it was still pretty cool. Like, I think that this movie was the best so far um, amongst all of the, uh, the little special stories that we had. Um, this movie told a fantastic story. I mean, the, the best part was how everybody confused Cooler for um for Frieza everybody was like Frieza you're still alive it's like how do you guys not remember Frieza he does not look like Frieza whatsoever I mean and then finally he fessed up he was like well I am not Frieza I am his brother Cooler and I'm much stronger I was like wow really who underestimated me well maybe it was you and your brother and everybody else who wanted to come to earth and destroy it you stupid asshole Oh, Trunks is awesome too. Um, I do believe that the following story is going to be Metal Cooler, which was fucking amazing. But here we go. Is it? Yes, it is. 
lots of transformations. Yes, he does. Shut up, Krillin. You're not gonna help anyway. Ah, shit. Goku and the others try to save everyone from danger when Cooler, revived and recharged with a metal body, appears. The death match between the Super Saiyan combo, Goku and Vegeta, and Metal Cooler. Oh, shit. Oh, man, that just sounded really badass. The Super Saiyan combination of Vegeta and Goku. is like, oh, man. Um, Metal Cooler was another beast. I was like, I'm very impressed. Uh oh. You've improved a bit. I I I've improved a, a bit. Are you kidding me right now? I fought androids that are probably stronger than you. Um, maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, this movie right here was way better than the uh, the regular Cooler movie because they finally engaged Cooler one on one, and um, you know, Cooler whooped Vegeta's ass. You know, Cooler whooped Goku's ass. Cooler was gonna kill Goku. He was gonna crush his fucking esophagus. Do you guys remember that? He grabbed Goku, and Goku was like clinging on to his life. I mean, Cooler's death grip was too much for Goku, so eventually he would have killed him, and if it were not for Vegeta, you know, Goku would have been dead. I firmly believe that Cooler would have either crushed his, his actual esophagus or Cooler would have snapped his neck because Cooler had Goku right where he wanted him, even as a Super Saiyan. So, um, my my little ultimate what if battle was to see Metal Cooler versus like first form or, or second form Cell because, um, according to many sources, Metal Cooler is far beyond of a Super Saiyan. I mean, as you guys saw when they fought him, um, it took two of them to beat him down, so like fully. Um, but my little like dream fight were to see like what if Cooler battled somebody else, you know, like it would have been really cool to see. Um, and the best part was when Cooler came back with like thousands of metal coolers and once again this guy fucking survived the spirit bomb. How the fuck? This is not possible. You know, I, I, I really doubt Cooler would have survived the damn spirit bomb to begin with because a spirit bomb is just that, a giant powerful bomb. And, and this dude would, oh god, number two! Nah, is he alive? Fucking still alive, man. Oh, this is it. This is it, my fuck, what the hell. I'm trying to end this as quickly as possible, so don't mind me, everybody. I mean, having to engage Cooler at this, oh yeah, he's finished. He is finished. Look at that, Kamehameha from the top. I mean, Goku tried, you guys can't deny him that. He tried. <laughs> Guess I won. He tried against Metal Cooler, and then Cooler was like, you're just a bitch. Transform into the form that I remember you in. And then finally, he transformed, and then Kabada Bing Bada Boom. They fought, and it was awesome. So I, I, I would really recommend watching that movie today, guys, because that movie was truly awesome. All right, what's the next saga? What's the next saga? Oh. Super Android 13. Okay. Yes, it does. After Dr. Giro's death, his computer completes the original Android 13. Ah, oh, crap. Suddenly, 13 appears before Goku and the others. The three great Super Saiyans, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks, uh -huh. fight with powers that exceed even a Super Saiyan. Yeah, they exceed even that of a Super Saiyan, but yet they get their asses kicked by this Super Fusion, and it was pretty cool. So, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this was one of my favorite movies, period. Oh, shit. It's the redneck android. Okay, well, either way, I mean, if you wanted to get fucking blown to bits, be my guest. Son Goku is here. I mean, Super Android 13, at first, I was like, alright, well, he seems kind of wacky tacky, so do his friends. Uh, but then once they started fighting, it was like a whole different level. Everybody was just, like, engaging each other. I was like, this is pretty cool. Um, this is by far, aside from Broly, my favorite film, because... Uh, Super Android 13 was just pure unmitigated rage and um, especially when Super 13 fought everybody he punched Goku right in the dick he beat down Vegeta he beat down Trunks he broke Trunks' sword he beat Vegeta down into the snow he pretty much like blasted Piccolo's face he punched Goku in the fucking balls it was absolutely sick and the way Goku ended the fight was superb because he absorbed the spirit bomb inside of his body oh my god run why does he sound like Super Android 17? Oh god, and, and, yeah, wow, and Goku just flees the scene. What do you want, Vegeta? You gotta get your ass kicked. Oh boy, alright, well, why don't you try your Big Bang attack, or, or, or your Final Flash? Perfect fucking reason to use a Final Flash is against this bastard right over here. If I were Vegeta, that, that is the first thing I would've done. I, I would've just sat back and charged up, like, my full power. Oh boy. Oh god, 
Damn it, man. All right, come on, come on, Vegeta, come on. You are a super swine. You should be able to defeat him. Ow, ow, ow. Wow, I can't even. Please let me hit him. Please let me hit him. Please let me hit him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The power struggle's real. Oh, God, he's stronger than me. Wow, Vegeta didn't even get one freaking hit in. Are you kidding me? Who's next? Oh, oh yes, you. I'm going to cut you with my sword. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, Trunks. Come on, Trunks. Come on. I mean, a lot of people are going to say that these movies aren't really canon, so they shouldn't count the actual series. And I, I agree with what some people have to say, of course, but... Um, it really sucks the fact that I really wish that some of these movies were canon because can you imagine if they did have a uh, very similar to a oh, wow that fucking energy ball followed me Can you imagine if they had like a very similar story to this like being canon? I, I think it would have made everything that much better But I, I guess like the movies can be refuted as canon non-canon material so but anyways, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed watching. My name is Unreal Entertainment Gaming. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, updates, walkthroughs, what if battles, and tons of more content, guys. If you guys enjoyed the episode, if you guys love Dragon Ball Z, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favor. Everybody, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys have to say in the comment section below, as usual, of course. Now, um, I hope you all stay tuned for more because we're going to have a lot more where that came from. We have to finish up the What If Saga, the Dragon Ball Saga, finish up the special saga with Broly, Harutagog, Janemba, Bojack, and stuff like that. So it ought to be good. But um, also let me know in the comment section below on what was your favorite film between the three of them shown today. Was it Super Android 13, Metal Cooler, or uh, the regular Cooler movie? Let me know in the comment section below. And why? Why is it that those movies are your favorites? Let me know in the comment section below. I just blasted this asshole with the spirit bomb, and he's still fucking coming at me. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Come on, Kikoroto. Transform into the super swine. Why can't I transform, man? Fuck this dude. Spirit bomb! All right, one more spirit bomb should do the trick, ladies and gentlemen. And if it doesn't, then I will be officially screwed because I am going to hit this dude with, what, like three spirit bombs, and he's still going to be alive? That's what I think Goku should have done to Beerus in uh, Battle of Gods, was like launch the spirit bomb at him and see what happens. Can you imagine if like Beerus were to absorb that fucking attack? Come on, Goku, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, he's blasting me into an oblivion. Mind you, this is not what happened in the actual movie, but uh, we're, we're, we're a little close to it, I guess you could say. The next time I launch a spirit bomb, I have to absorb it. If only you're able to do that. That would have been like the greatest moment ever in any Dragon Ball Z game. Come on. We yes, we did. We beat the legendary androids. Anyways, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more because there is a lot more Dragon Ball Z content where that came from. Like I said, guys, I mean, this game is truly a classic, bringing back so many memories, so many streaks things. So I hope you all enjoyed, and oh shit. Yes, Super 13 was one of them. So now we're going to engage Broly in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more. Long live Dragon Ball Z. And I'll be seeing you all later, everybody. Take it easy. Peace.